can see my feather edge here. Feather edge looks good. First coat of primer is going down thin and wet. And the reason why we do thin and wet over a feather edge is because those areas are very, very sensitive and they will swell and they will not go away. And so what happens is once we see them swell up, you know, we plow the primer on on the next few coats just to try to get it to go down. But if we just did it lightly, they do settle down for your second, your third, and even fourth coat to where they're not even affected. But you can see on that second coat, I stayed inside the first and got a little bit closer to the surface so that way I can apply a little bit more film build. And then my final third coat. Now again, you can choose to do three to four coats if you like. That is a recommendation in the TDS because once your primer is dry, then you're actually gonna go ahead and put your guide coat down. You'll expose any areas that will be sanded, whether it's overspray, whether it's sand scratches, they will show up in your guide coat. So you can see all these areas of darkness, okay? That's not an optical illusion, that is overspray and that is the powder getting in between the thick droplets of the overspray, so that's why it looks dark. Just imagine if we did the inside out technique where we put this coat down first, this one down second, and then we did a final coat on the outside. All this overspray would actually be underneath. And as soon as you start sanding, guess what you're gonna expose? All that overspray and then you're gonna have a jagged edge here, and then you're gonna to try to make this work, and then all of a sudden you're gonna be sanding all the way back to here to get a nice transition. Is that enough surface to be primed? Possibly, if the bodywork was that small. But being that that feather edge was like that, we're gonna need out to here to provide us with a nice transition. So the best thing to do, make sure that we do that outside in technique properly, allow each coat of primer to dry thoroughly, so that way we get the right film build, and at the end of the day, we can sand, base coat, clear coat, and that job will be done.